NJS bikes are some of my favorite bikes ever produced. Simple and elegant, but at the same time, they're made for the express purpose of high stakes gambling in Japan. Pretty badass. Last week I took a trip to Singapore to check out their fixed gear scene and I had the pleasure of shooting a few bike checks for some of the local riders. All NJS builds. In this mega NJS bike check, we'll take a closer look at four NJS builds that will be sure to make you consider if you have enough money and space to justify having yet another bike. Today we have an iRibe, Nagasawa, Bridgestone, and even a three Rencho. What's up? I'm Zach Olardo. Life is short, but don't make it shorter. So ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous and subscribe to catch my upcoming videos about Singapore's fixed gear scene over the next two weeks. <laughs> And for a deliciously smooth riding steel bikes that you can customize to be your dream bike right out of the box, stick around till the end of the video to learn more about the bike that I personally ride and our channel sponsor, Wabi Cycles. First up, we have this 53 centimeter I ride in pink with silver sparkle that's sure to put any holographic Charizards on the playground to shame. This I ride oozes craftsmanship with just the perfect amount of sparkle that makes it shimmer at the right angles while still letting the pink paint shine through. On top of that, it has matching holographic decals in all your standard tubes, plus on the fork legs, fork crown, pencil tack seat stays, drive side chain stay, and even on the undrilled brake bridge. And of course, like any self-respecting NJS bike, both the brake bridge and fork are left undrilled since they're made for two types of people, Kirin racers in Japan and brakeless badasses. Piecing this build together, we have black risers complete with a bell for alerting zombie-like pedestrians and a headlight to be more visible to Singaporean drivers that totally aren't on their phones all the time. Moving on back, we have a black two-bolt seat post with a physique Gobi saddle sitting on top. For the pedal setup, we have the tried-and-true MKS GR9s paired with nylon all-city double cages and BLB leather double straps. For the drivetrain, we have a white Industries R30 crank set and matching white Industries TSR chainring because showing that you're a baller with 75s or Dura Aces on your NJS bike is great and all, but oh so predictable. The drivetrain is strung together with an Izumi Super Toughness in gold, the best color for a chain. Proudly representing Singapore are the Ascent Adamant Rims, measuring in at a whopping 26 millimeters wide, finished with the appropriate holographic decals and laced in 32 spoke to Ascent Resolute hubs. The rear is wrapped in a Panaracer Pacella, while the front sports a Vittoria Corsa for the classic gummy on black goodness. Traditionalists may scoff at this NJS build with a mix of modern, non-Japanese components, but I personally love it. The builder's choices make it practical for tearing up the streets, and the mix of silver and black components and accents in tasteful spots give it originality while still looking right. Next up is this classy black Nagasawa. Although it may look unassuming to the untrained eye, if you take a closer look it becomes apparent that a lot of love and attention to detail went into building this frame, complete with carefully painted accents on the pencil tack seat stays, front end lugs, and bottom bracket to make that coveted NJS stamp all the more visible. For the cockpit, we have Vortex straight bars connected to a negative 17 degree threaded stem to keep the lines of the build clean. The seat post is the trusty Nitto S65, and the saddle is something I can't identify because apparently, I forgot to get a shot of it. The pedals are MKS Sylvan tracks paired with All City Creighton double toe clips or the unbranded equivalent, and thoroughly loved BLB leather double straps. The cranks are black Anodai Sagino Aramides. Now you're probably thinking one of two things at this point. One, what are Sugino Aramides? Well, for you youngins out there, Sugino Aramides are old school Sugino track cranks. Or number two, I didn't know that Aramides ever came in black, and you're right, they didn't. These Aramides are custom anodized black by Kudamori Bike Co. in Singapore. The cranks are paired with a 49 tooth Alter SC chain ring, making for an elegant blend of vintage and modern components while accenting the lug work on the frame sets. The wheels are 32 spoke old school rims laced to Aphrodite hubs. I don't know what the rims are, I've never heard of these hubs. Basically, these wheels are so esoteric that I have no idea what they are. Wrapping the wheels, we have a Michelin Dynamic Classic in the rear and a Schwabe Lugano in the front for more black on gummy goodness to add a touch more contrast to tie the build together. Although this Nagasawa may fly under the radar for most, it's one that is sure to catch the eye of NJS lovers upon closer inspection. A frame set from one of the most well-respected NJS builders, built with a healthy mix of components that bring practicality and bling. It's clear that this is a bike that's meant to be used, but not abused, 
and appreciated for years to come. Next up is a bike that I personally ride as my daily bike in a heartbeat, this delicious purple Bridgestone. Well loved with signs of usage on the parts and frame set, this bike is a testament to the legendary quality of components that bear the NJS stamp. In addition to having all the desirable NJS hallmarks of top tier steel hand built in Japan with lugs, undrilled in the front and rear for maximum badassery, and my favorite part of this bike other than the color, the wonderfully symmetrical seat joints where the seat stays swoop over to tantalizingly almost touch at the top, it makes me feel things that an inanimate object really shouldn't. On the front end we have wide carbon straight bars with enough lights to make Stevie Wonder put on a second pair of sunglasses connected to a Nitto Pearl stem. Moving to the rear we pass a smattering of nicks from lockups and a 5 gold tom tube protector to prevent dents and keep the bike rideable as nature intended. Then we have a Dura C post that one can only imagine what kind of life this thing has had with a strikingly generic velo saddle as if to give all the bike elitas the finger. The pedals are trusty GR9s with white nylon double toe clips and a set of leather double straps battered from Singapore's rain, but still kicking. The cranks are Dura A 7600s with a respectable amount of scratches and pedal rub paired with the modern classic AARN chainring, and the drivetrain is linked together with an Izumi chain. To keep this bike rolling, we have the ultimate daily wheels. H plus on archetypes laced a buttery smooth Philwood hubs with Vittoria Zafiro tires. Purple NJS built for daily street riding. My favorite of the bunch, but definitely not the most expensive. That's title is reserved for our last bike. From a builder that is one of the most sought after amongst bike collectors and hipsters with too much money alike, is this three Rencho impeccably restored. And before you comment, I know it's pronounced San Rencho in Japan, but I'm speaking in English and they use the Arabic numeral in their name, so I'm calling it Three Rencho. This Three Rencho drips fixie points from top to bottom. Chrome lugs with head tube lugs and a bottom bracket lug that looks like they're made of liquid. Chrome track ends, a bling-tastic refinished gold sparkle paint job, expertly placed brand spanking new decals, and just in case this bike is accidentally dropped to a vat of paint stripper, a Three Rencho engraving on the seat stays to give the frame set craftsmanship through its very core. Just like with people, you know you're doing something right if the bike looks good naked. And three wrenches are undoubtedly towards the top of the list of bikes that look good naked. The bars are Nitto drops with the Oshita Champ best grips attached to a steel Nitto stem. Custom engraved with San Rencho in Japanese. Are you happy now? I said San Rencho. To top it off, the seat post, an NJS Nitto SP72, is also custom engraved to match the frame set. And for the saddle, we have the beloved Sella Italia Flight. Moving on down to the pedals, we have Shimano SPD SLs. The cranks are custom anodized, vintage Sugino Super Mighties with the matching chainring, custom engraved with the three wrench show logo. Rounding off the drivetrain, we have a Dura Ace cog and lock ring. The wheels are box section rims, probably Arias, but correct me if I'm wrong, laced to custom finished Dura Ace hubs and matching gold anno and gold sparkle, wrapped in Pan Eraser Practice 270 skin walls. Originality. Masterful craftsmanship to the core, history, impeccable restoration, and enough fixie points to make you think about how many banks you have to rob just to buy this thing. This three Rencho is a functional piece of art, and the best part is that the owner of this bike actually rides it and doesn't just hang it on the wall and drool. That wraps up our mega NJS bike check, and while these bikes are really fantastic to ogle, Nothing beats the pure joy of actually throwing your leg over a bike and riding. And before I go off to ride my Wabi, let me know in the comments which build was your favorite. And speaking of my Wabi, shout out to Wabi Cycles for sponsoring the channel and for making these videos possible. Wabi makes it easy for me to ride my Wabi Special as my only bike as I travel throughout Asia, since every one of Wabi's design choices are meticulously made to give the purest ride quality for the money. Wabi executes those choices perfectly, handmade by master craftsmen in Taiwan and a friendly bike shop in Denver, Colorado that is eager to answer your questions and get you on a bike you'll love. Wabi's relentless attention to detail results in Wallace, my 58cm Wabi Special weighing in at 17.5 pounds or 7.97 kilograms straight out of the box with no carbon components. That results in the best riding experience I've ever had with a lively, snappy ride quality that only top tier steel can bring. If you're looking for the bike that puts an end to the search for the perfect bike, consider checking out Wabi Cycles linked at the top of the description. Since it really is the closest thing that I've ridden 
to the perfect bike. And if you dislike this video, be sure to let me know by giving it a thumbs down. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to watch more fixed gear videos just like this one. And I've got a few more videos about Singapore's fixed gear scene coming up in the next two weeks. But if you haven't ridden your bike yet today, stop watching me right now because life is short, but don't make it shorter. So ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.